Hi everyone, I'm Lala Bad. Welcome. Today I am sharing with you my first impressions and up close and personal swatches of these. Ooh. These are the new e.l.f. bite size eyeshadow palettes. They made a total of, I believe, eight and I purchased six. I do want to say before we start the swatches that swatches are just really pretty to look at. They kind of give you a slight idea of what the palette is about but it's not the whole story. You gotta take in, into consideration that you use it on your eye. Sometimes there's eye primer, sometimes there's not. And we also use brushes and they blend out. So do keep that in mind. Um, without further ado, if you're ready to see these swatches, then stay tuned. Okay, everyone, so I'm doing a voiceover because when I filmed this, my neighbors were whack and um, they were making too much noise, so I apologize. Elf is selling these palettes, and I believe there are a total of eight different colors. I picked these six because these are the ones that stood out to me. Each palette contains four shadows. You get two mattes and two shimmers. This one in particular is called Pumpkin Pie. They are cruelty-free, and they are called Bite Size Eyeshadow. They are bite size as you can see there's the, the the length of my middle finger um i was surprised at that but it's okay because the pants are pretty big now as you can see i accidentally kind of touched that one before i swatched it but here it here it is here's the the layout um i want to say this that the mats are so soft the shimmers are so buttery um these palettes cost three dollars each i repeat three dollars each now i know you're thinking oh it's elf you know but you know what elf does a pretty good job at making shadows i feel like they always have a variety they they have really nice color stories i feel like um they're not really a brand that you should look down on um, I always like their shadows, to be honest. Now, this one is called, I think it's called Akaiyu. Akaiyu or I I don't I don't know how to pronounce that C. Um, but, yeah, I, I was having trouble. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. If you can let me know in the comments below, I'm sure you will. <laughs> I'd appreciate that. All right, so this is like the purple palette. And as you can see, I want to just... So that y'all can see how big those pans are. I mean, they're as big as my 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 thumb. Um, again, two shimmers, two mattes. I believe the third one kind of looked like a satin to me. It didn't it didn't come off as a matte. But there you go. These are more deeper purples. And um, I'm just laying them right next to the 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 pumpkin palette. Um, yeah, deep. And you see that third one? It, 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 as you can see, you see the second one's more shimmery than the third one. The third one's supposed to be a shimmer, but it to me, I think that would be a satin. It, it's, it's a satin finish. It's definitely not matte, but um, I like that deep, deep purple. kind of looks like a black. I can see uh, myself doing a really beautiful smoke with that. Y'all know I love smoke. <laughs> All right, uh, moving on to what palette do we have here? This is the Berry palette. Um, the shimmers are in the middle. I don't know why they have them like that, but they do. This is called the Berry Bad palette. Hey, it has half of my name. <laughs> um so there you go. The packaging is, I mean, it's a, it's a plastic. It's cheap. It does, it doesn't feel very luxurious. But the shadows really don't match the packaging. To be honest with you, I want you to take a look at the third color here, that copper-looking color. Take a look. I see a really beautiful transition color in the first one. Um, the second one could be for your crease and the two shimmers for your lid. I feel like um, this is a whole eye look. They kind of, um, I want to say they kind of remind me of the Natasha Denona palettes. The little small ones, the little minis. Now this one here, and I don't know if I showed it, but it's the Hot Jalapeno palette. Um, that gold, oh my god. I can't wait for you to see that gold. It. It took my breath away. I wish you could hear my real reaction. Um, again, there was like an ice cream truck in the neighborhood. It wouldn't shut up and it parked right outside my house. Um, but as, look, look at that green. Tell me those are not phenomenal. I love, I loved, I loved these. I love swatching these palettes. They were 
really outstanding to swatch. Now we all know that this, these, these are my first impressions. Um, this is, these are my thoughts when I first, you know, swatched them. These, um, I will be doing a look for, with these palettes. Now this one is called Carnival Candy and, um, they had uh, these had a total of three mattes and the blue was the only shimmer in this particular palette um and i was a little surprised at that that blue was just that pop um i see um that the first one as a setting powder or a setting shadow the two in the middle i see those as transitions because y'all know i like to do like at, at least two transition colors and that blue right on the lid um, that blue was beautiful. Was, uh, why didn't they make a blue one? That's what I want to know. Why didn't they make a blue one? And lastly, this is the last one. This was, um, that black really surprised me. I didn't realize that that was, uh, had glitter in it. Um, and this one is called, uh, Truffles. I, um, this was a really, really, uh, good one. The black, as y'all know, I really dig a really great black and just look at the swatches i'm not gonna say nothing just look boom boom honey omg these again these are phenomenal the swatches are phenomenal i'm gonna have to do a look to, to really give you a really a straight up review but from for right now as I'm watching this and sharing with you. I think they're, this is, these are amazing. They swatch beautifully and I'm very impressed with e.l.f. All right, uh, let's hear my final thoughts. I'm going to have to say my favorite in order, okay? In order. So the least favorite would be the pumpkin patch. Um, the shimmers are beautiful, but I had to pick, pick the least. And just because it's just so basic and kind of boring to me that's why it's last but believe me i it's still good it's still good the second least favorite would be the purples um i again just because i have to do it in order it's not because i don't like it but it's one that i can you know i can probably live without but i was still trying to find a way i was scheme to get it <laughs> The um, very bad would be um, right after the purples, just because again, I don't. It's not that I don't like it. The shimmers were beautiful, and I think that the 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 mattes are going to blend out really, really well. First impressions, it's great, but it's not. I have three more that are way better than these three, so just just for that reason, um, it would be the berries. And then the top three of my choices would be this. And the only reason why it would be this one, because I like that it has a setting. I like that it has two transitions and then I would use that for the lid. These are a tie. I'm going to say these are a tie because I can't pick one. I can't pick one, but these are a tie. I love this gold. I love this green. I love these greens, period. And then the black, that black, the pigment that showed up that black um and then just the whole palette these this right here can be a whole palette and i would be so happy i will be doing a look very soon so i can review them first impressions i'm impressed swatches i'm impressed three dollars good deal so far first impressions good deal all right i hope you like this video if you did let me know by giving it a thumbs up if you're new here take the time out to subscribe and press the bell so you're notified every time i go live or when i upload all right, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. All right, bye.